Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Round two of the NFL Draft begins tonight. Oh, I think we just got a little uh, little spot of Tony there behind us. That was, that was fun. Uh, last night, Miles Garrett of Texas A&M went to the number one pick, the Cleveland Browns. Our future team, the Raiders, nabbed Garyon Conley out of Ohio State. Way to go. And uh, before it all begins, Sean chatted with ESPN's top college football analyst, Kurt Herbstreet, before the picks were made. Let's take a look. The NFL Draft is officially underway. Great college talent ripe for the picking, going to those teams who need the juice in their roster. In former college QB and ESPN's top college football analyst, Kirk Herbstreet. He's here to talk more about it. How are you, sir? I'm great, Sean. How you doing? Doing very well. I see uh, Philadelphia's Liberty Center behind you. Gorgeous. Uh, this draft, a very exciting time of year. Uh, who's been on your radar for the draft so far? Well, it's it's been a, a crazy first round. We're looking forward to seeing some of the names that go off the board and the second round and beyond. And and really, Sean, as you know, uh, if you look at the NFL, we get so excited about the first round. Yeah. But if you look at the New England Patriots and the oh. Pittsburgh Steelers and kind of the mainstays, it, it's what you do with that second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth round that makes the difference. And whether or not you just have kind of those high-profile individual names or you have some substance and backbone to your team. And that's why I'm so excited about uh, the next few days is to find out which teams are going to be able to uh, use their, their resources through scouting, yep. GM, the head coaches, to make good decisions on, on getting kind of the diamonds in the rough. Yeah, those early picks are easy. But picking Tom Brady, 199, yeah. that's the exactly. difficult choice. <laughs> it's absolutely. Yep. Uh, we're exactly actually, right. Obviously, we're excited here uh, in Vegas. We're watching the Raiders closely. They're still the Oakland Raiders for now, yep. but by 2020, we're, we're going to have uh, we're going to have a team. How weird is that? Crazy. Um, <laughs> so much talk over the last few. It really is. I mean, I love going to Vegas, and it gives me even more of a reason now to go out there. Amen. I'm sure they'll have the Super Bowl there. Uh, it's going to be exciting. I saw some of the pictures of their new stadium. And I mean, it, it looked like a spaceship. It's gonna, it's gonna be probably the, the best stadium uh, in the country. So exciting times, I'm sure there uh, in Vegas. People are huge NFL fans. Uh, it is still weird to think that the Raiders, who bounced around between LA and Oakland, yeah. uh, are gonna be in Vegas. But it's about time that that Vegas get uh, get an NFL team, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the Raiders get there. No question. Now, I know that you've teamed up. Uh, you're not just there for, for the NFL draft, but you've also, also teamed up with a great organization. Tell us about uh, what you're doing there. Yeah, Operation Homefront. It's a nonprofit organization that helps the American military and their families. Uh, a great group of folks. I was introduced to them through my work with Eckridge. Eckridge and Operation Homefront teamed up back in 2012 every year. Uh, and, and through that work, they've been able to generate $2.5 million that Eckridge has given uh, to Operation Homefront. Uh, they're back at it again this year, beginning May 1st until July 4th in the Vegas area. If you go to Smith's and you look for specially marked Eckridge items, mm -hmm. simply by making a purchase, you throw five cents for each purchase into the fund. And uh, this year, Eckridge is trying to create another $500,000 between May 1st and July 4th. That'll get them over $3 million that uh, Eckridge will have provided to Operation Homefront to be able to help uh, uh, this worthy cause out. So easy for us to get involved in. Simply go to our local grocery and uh, look for those uh, specially marked items. And each purchase you make, you get a great product and also you're helping a great cause. That's fantastic work that they're doing. And Kirk, it's great having you. Once the stadium's built and UNLV's playing out of it, I'm gonna go streaking behind your game day, uh, your, your college game day uh, live shot. That's what I'm gonna do, Kirk. <laughs> We look forward to it. There we go. <laughs> Thank You're in. Thank you so much. Uh, it'll be awesome. Be well, buddy. All hey, right. Help your home team by helping military families get much needed housing with Operation Homefront and ECRIC. You have the website right there on your screen. If you want to find out on how you can help, the details are right there. JJ. Over